Sometimes we just have to film videos when our hair is still wet. Hello internet, around here I go by Cat of Diamonds and welcome to my fanish reviews. As you can tell from the title, it is time to open this month's Owl Grey. But if you watched my book 2 -a vlogs, you know that I did sneak peek inside Owl Crate already to see which one I got. July 2016's Owl Crate had a theme of good versus evil. You either got a good box or you got an evil box. Unfortunately, I accidentally spoiled myself on Twitter. Someone else that I follow posted what they got in their Owl Crate like the day they got it and I realized I already had a copy of that book. However, since it was foiled, I decided to check to see if I had a good or evil box and my box is good. Sentences about boxes, games about balls. I just love my life right now. I kind of dug to the bottom and already looked at the top. I haven't really looked at anything other than the pop figure and the book itself. So I'm just going to unbox this as a show and tell instead of an actual reveal where I don't know what's going on. It's just gonna be a little bit more show and tell today. The reason I knew right away I got a good box is because my pop figure was Dobby from Harry Potter. And all my only Harry Potter pop figures are Luna right there and Snape who is up on the upper shelf, which I also got in an owl crate. So my book might be a duplicate, but my pop figure is not, so. Excellent. I also knew from Twitter or social media that we would be getting an vector engraving from the Etsy store. Oh, that's, that is, that is a good one. That is good. From vector engraving, I got a Millennium Falcon necklace. Love it. Just, I love it. I'm actually going to wear it this afternoon tonight would I go out with my friends. Next is a tiny little magnet bookmark by James Tiny Things and it is an Alice bookmark. It has a quote on the back which is awesome and its packaging is adorably on a book. We also got a sticker that reads you have me until the last star in the galaxy dies. You have me. Which is a quote sourced from Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and this is by far the most recommended book from me in 2016. Probably will be my favorite book of 2016 so that's a thing that I like. There was also a promotional bookmark Romeo and Juliet meets Indiana Jones for Every Hidden Thing by Kenneth Opal. So that will go into my bookmark pile. Which brings us to This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Love, love, love Victoria Schwab. She also wrote A Darker Shade of Magic, as well as Vicious, which is still in my TBR pile. So when I heard when she was coming out with another book, I was so excited. So excited that when I was in Boulder a few weekends ago, I already bought myself a copy to support the Boulder bookstore because I love that bookstore and I was in Boulder and this was one of the books on the shelves that I was like, ooh, that's an author I really like. I really want to read her book. So I have two copies now, which means this is the copy that I am going to give away I'm going to keep the copy that I bought for myself just because I bought it at the bookstore and I want to keep it. It also has a bookstore bookmark inside. I don't know. However, what I did not get in the bookstore was the promotional materials that came with the Savage Song being the Owl Crate book because now I have this lovely letter from V.E. Schwab for the Owl Crate readers, which I will read later, as well as a YA covers to color. I mean, coloring books, man. I am into them. As well as a signed book plate, which I'm totally stealing from the pile of promotional materials and putting it in the copy that I am keeping. Sorry, friend, I'm giving this copy tonight to... I paid for it. That being said, I'm down at the bottom of the box, which will tell me what the theme for next month is. And here we go. Next month's theme for August is going to be Fast Times at YA High, which tells me it's going to be a high school contemporary book. And in the August box, you will receive an exclusively designed piece of jewelry inspired by Eleanor and Park. So there you go. That is my Owl Crate July unboxing in the theme of good. As you know, I really enjoy Owl Crate. I buy them for myself every month. However, if you would like me to earn a free one and you have not yet subscribed to Owl Crate, I do have a referral link in the doobly-doo as well as a playlist of all of my Owl Crate unboxings so that you can go through and see what else has been curated and decide if you want to subscribe because Really, I don't want to push anything on you that you don't want. That being said, I have friends on their way over. I think I need to check my phone to, you know, make sure our thing is still happening. So until my next video, happy reading.